Right, we're outside having a party. First of all, welcome to the neighborhood. So we have new neighbors here in uh, Old City. Ardiente, is that how you pronounce it? What's that mean? It means ardent or passionate in Spanish. I love that. Like burning fire. Yeah. Burning fire. Yeah. This girl is on fire. This is. <laughs> I like that. This is Katie. Hi. How are you? I'm great. This is Thank Carrie. You. Hello. That's Mike Masco over there. Hi. Nice to meet you, ladies. <laughs> All right, you're whipping something up for us. Tell us what this is. Uh, this is actually our. Uh, it is our Contessa. So it is three equal parts of Blue Coat Barrel Age, which is actually made locally, and. Um, Capaletti and Cochi Americano, which are both sort of aperitif wines uh, that are chilled. So it's in between a Negroni and a Boulevardier, if anyone ever knows that. Wait, what and kind I, of alcohol is this? This is gin. Oh, it's gin. But it's aged in um, whiskey barrels, so that's why it's uh, uh, darker in color. And it's actually made right here in Philadelphia no from uh, right. Philadelphia Distilling. Yeah. Okay, so Carrie's going to like light some things on fire since she just spoke of fire. But before <laughs> she does that, what's this um, concoction here? This is called a Hotel Nacional. This is a very famous drink from Prohibition period in oh. Cuba. The Hotel Nacional is like the most famous hotel in Cuba, mm -hmm. which during Prohibition was like a super, super interesting place for Americans to go where they could drink oh. because there were no pro prohibitions there. So well-heeled Americans would be tourists in Havana for their honeymoon, their vacation, whatever. So it's like a daiquiri, but with pineapple juice and this very delicious apricot liqueur. Okay, Mike Masco, you're standing to another fancy one over there, right? Um, oh, oh yeah, look at Mike's this. Near? That's, that's called is. a garden party spritz. Oh, that's what we're having right now, a garden party. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I thought it would be a perfect the garden. <laughs> and a spritzer's good for this weather, because have you heard Mike's forecast? Really? His forecast has, like, it feels like 100 yeah. degree temperatures for the it's next It's early in the morning and it's already hot, so I get it. So I'm really curious, does fire do anything to the actual drink or is it more like decorative? Um, in this drink, actually, the orange oil that she's going to spray through the match caramelizes oh. and lands on the surface of the drink. So it does, it flavors it. I'm going to back up. All right, come on, let's, let's light this <laughs> up. Let's fine. She still has now the good stuff. <laughs> she, she does still have eyebrows and hair. She still have eyebrows. So All right, so what do you do? <laughs> Tell me what you do, Carrie. So I just take the match and you yeah. want to light it and then this is a uh, orange oil so it's pretty much just a uh, you know orange dust that's put into a bottle and then I'll spray it on top of the alcohol and obviously it'll go up in flames. Alright, let's watch see. It work. There we go. Uh-oh. Woo! Wow. Pretty wild. Well, so it's yeah, fast. That's it's it. very fast. It's, it's, it's a real attention getter at the bar. Now I'm do you do sure. any drinks that's just flaming? Uh, is it? No. No. I'm sure our liability insurance I was going to say insurance that. company have a heart attack yeah. knowing that. Nope. <laughs> Carrie, tell me what you're doing because I just got one of these fancy things with my new knife set and I have no idea what that is. So I'm just making a twist <laughs> which is usually a, it's a pretty standard garnish for any drink. Um, so you use it to make a twist and I like to go long ways so that way I can and then you want to zest the ends of the glasses. We're so you. good at this. Fancy. Hey, this girl is a trained professional. She is. What's the most popular drink? Um, we have several. We have a sangria that sells really well, mojitos. Actually, this is kind of a sneak peek. These drinks are not quite on the menu yet, Ooh. so uh, this is a little yeah. bit of a sneak peek. Well, exclusive. Preview. I like yeah, that. Love it. Thank you. Coming next week. We appreciate you being here. Mike, a final check of weather really quickly. Oh, do you really want to do I that? I know we have to. Oh. I think I need a drink. 